Yo, what's up guys, boy Jeffrey from Jeffrey's World. Welcome back to a crazy ass adventure. Right now, we are going to explore a very huge, actually the biggest abandoned sanatorium of Belgium. It's confirmed haunted as well, but I'm not going to show you the whole place. It's way too big, but I already did this place at daytime. I'm going to put that video in the description below. So if you want to see that, make sure to check it out by yourself. It's epic, guys. It's very huge. It's now pretty, pretty creepy because it's nighttime. It's just past 12 a.m. So the home things are happening right now. There are actually some people inside from Netherlands. I don't know who the heck it is. But I see the light. I think they're hiding for us or something, I don't know. But anyways, it did a very epic adventure. Smash the biggest like. Let's do this. Okay, previous time this wasn't destroyed like this. All right, we're now entering the biggest sanatorium in Belgium. Oh, look, this was here before. Did it, was it before? No, eh? Look, that's nice. What has this? Packed with the devil. 666. Right in the blood. And now we're gonna get possessed. <laughs> Imagine. Check this fan. A little bit creepy. All right, the plants has changed. I'm gonna walk here alone. They are gonna go their own way. But I'm prepared. I've got knives with me and a big ass flashlight, a tactical flashlight actually. So I'm gonna walk here. If something happens, I'm gonna yellow like crazy. Okay. All right, family now. Officially alone. I don't know. They are inside this room. And if something happened, text me, huh? or call me, or yellow as well, okay? Yeah. All right. So, I'm not going to show you all the rooms. It's all similar to others. But please pay attention to the background. If you're going to hear or see anything in the background, make sure to let me know, fans. Because this place is confirmed haunted. Because I literally saw some documentaries about this place at Ghost Center. Went to this freaky sanatorium at night. And they got in contact with some paranormal activity. They actually could talk with some ghosts. And, oh shit. Alright. Hey. <laughs> then. Right, my fingering is bleeding right now. I hate it, but do this matter. I don't have to use my fingers to record this place. That was a creepy windy noise. Oh, it's a plane. Wow, that's loud. It's annoying me that I'm bleeding right now. Man. Look, the elevators. This looks a little bit like... This looks a bit like the Wavy Hill Sanctuary, actually. Many empty rooms. Look at the creepy cross, devil cross. <laughs> this is legit. The freaking look alike of the Wavery Hill Sanctuary. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. If you agree with me or not. I 
think you are leaving by now. Okay. I'm really walking here alone. So it's actually kind of scary. But I still do it as for you, fam. Don't get as much a big ass like. Creepy, huh? <laughs> also, what I was talking about, the paranormal investigators, they saw main doors closing by itself and open by itself as well. That was creepy. Alright guys, I'm now at a higher level of the sanatorium. Let's do this, another creepy ass long corridor. Okay, this is creepy. What happened here? Actually, this place is actually very demolished by vandals, actually. That's actually pretty sad. Oh, shit. That's creepy. Alright, Rodrigo and Emily is now going to a higher floor right now. They can see his face. And now, legit, I'm alone here right now. I know I just said a few minutes ago, but now I'm legit alone at this floor. And I'm kind of nervous. I just changed the batteries very quick. So please pay now very good attention. It's so quiet here on the night that This place is massive, man. Super massive. I think I'm gonna stick at this floors because those floors I now at is actually the most haunted where they actually got in contact with them with a lot of paranormal activity actually. So that's the reason why I'm gonna stay here and they're actually going to almost the top of the building. But they then got any attention, I mean paranormal activity there. It was actually at the main floor, the first floor and the second floor. And now I am at the second floor, so yeah. Where the most activity happened. Like doors closing by itself, you know, stuff like that. But first time I am alone inside a big ass sanatorium like this. In a freaky Ardennes. In a mountain region of Belgium. That is a little creepy man. And it's too quiet. Oh, 
Ah, of course, the song, man. I think there's Rodrigo or something. Hopefully. I think I saw someone standing there. <gasps> so creepy. The creepy fact is there's actually a lot of rooms. I don't like that. I think this is the first floor. Okay, I'm, not, I'm back at the first floor right now. Oh shit, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> Look at this place. It's enormous. I'm now walking at the balcony fan. <gasps> There's a lot of glass. Alright. The first door I'm gonna see, I'm going back and take the one, uh, I mean the sound to him. Actually, the vandals did a lot of damage here right now. Like you can see all the doors. And actually, I don't know. They literally smashed all the windows. This is so sad. Why are people doing this? They actually burned some things here as well. A door, okay. There's not a spook in this level, that wasn't.
I think it's all the scores already. I stopped the bleeding as well, gladfully. Alright, I will see before I make this. So I know I'm stick to the same floors. There's like I said, both floors are actually the most haunted floors of this whole sanatorium. Battery is flashing right now. Hello. The strain. Look at this, this is what they meant, they burned some things here, it's so sad actually. This basement. Screw me. <sighs> no way. I don't like that. Okay, what the hell is this on? It is like something heavy moved. Oh shit, I'm on the fourth. It's because I'm nervous and a crazy fan. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna quit this right now, fans. I went to the same floors and I bet I must be captured something on camera, especially the EVP or something. So please, if you heard of something, let me know in the comments below which time you heard of something, fans. If you can, take a screenshot, it means a lot, fans, and put it in the comments below. If you have took a screenshot of something yourself, make sure to send it to my Twitter. All my social medias is in the description below, so make sure to show me some love there as well. All stuff because I a big ass mic. I literally walked alone at those floors in the beginning. Rodrigo and Emily was behind me. A few minutes away from me actually, but now I was here currently alone. 
they were actually at the top of the floors so I couldn't hear them they couldn't hear me so if something will happen I will yellow so they know I'm in danger or something if they will be in danger they can yellow but they didn't and I didn't because nothing actually happened that's really but I'm shaking like crazy because it's the way this the way this building looks actually always the corridor and stuff like that you know super super creepy man because I know what happened here because of the bottom of investigators that went here a few years ago okay what's strange this came from there I'm out of here, man. I don't feel good anymore, fans. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see another one. Peace.